Anyway, Shalom Chabrim, I'm Stephen Benun. You're watching Israeli News Live, both on live stream and uh, on YouTube, Israeli News Live. We do have breaking news. I actually seen this six minutes after it came out on the Jerusalem Post. Turkey's Erdogan says operations begin in uh, Iraq, Sinyar region. And uh, he is going after the Kurds in that particular region of Iraq. Now we remember Erdogan threatened recently that wherever the Kurds are, he will come after them. Now I know he calls it the terrorist organization, the PKK or, or the, uh, what is it, the YPG, etc. He calls them all terrorist organizations, but they are the best fighters against ISIS. I guess this particular NATO member is very displeased with the fact that the Kurds have done so well in battling ISIS that now they figure they got to take them out. And not only that, there's a lot of things else that, are ha that is happening right now in and around Syria that has made me title this, on, at least on uh, live stream Israeli News Live and Roku TV, uh, we have titled this, Is Turkey Positioning Themselves for a NATO Invasion of Syria? I know that sounds very provocative. Let's look into what's going on here. First, the Jerusalem Post bringing this out. Turkey's President Tayyip Erdogan said on Sunday operations had begun in Iraqi Sinyar region, an area where Turkey has threatened to cross the border. Military action two days after sources said Kurdish PKK militants would withdraw from the area. Now here the Kurds are willing to withdraw to try to prevent any kind of escalation by Turkey, but Turkey doesn't care. They've already started an air attack on that region, killing four already. Now, I don't think the Jerusalem uh, Post has uh, brought that particular issue out, but I've already found this out on another source that I found. Uh, they have taken out four in an airstrikes already of the Kurds there. Let's look at where Sinyar is there based on the map though right here. We have Syria. Afrin is up here by Aleppo. Uh, up in that area there, uh, we have the Euphrates River coming down all through here. The Kurds are very strong east of the Euphrates River. This is where the United States has been embedded with Kurds as well as the Free Syrian Army. But the Free Syrian Army was fighting against the Kurds in Afrin. I mean, when do these, do these people have any kind of allies whatsoever? I know that President, uh, Prime Minister Netanyahu talked good about the Kurds. I appreciate that. But nobody including Russia, is willing to stand up for these people. And that makes me highly suspicious about what's going on. Now, this is the Sinyar region in Iraq. Turkey's border is way up here. They got to go down into Iraq around the peninsula there of Syria to get this region right here. What are they doing this for? What's, what is really going on? You have to really ask yourself the question. Well, there may be something really going on that we're not looking at. Now, Turkey beefs up its military presence in Syria with more reinforcements deployed to the border provinces. Look at this. Look at, look at the, look at the. Look at all these trucks rolling in. I mean, this equipment looks like U.S. type armaments coming in, not just, uh, not just Turkish. But they're building up their forces on the Syrian border as well. I mean, something major is up, friends. Something is major is up. Now, we may, like I said, may have an idea of what that is. Lorenzo on alreadyhappened.com sent me this imagery. He actually sent it to me almost a day ago, practically. I just didn't happen to catch it in time. U.S. unloads Liberty Pride, the Roro ship in Jordan. Now, if you remember... One of these Liberty ships last year, we reported here on Israeli News Live, actually courtesy of Lorenzo here on Already Happened, he had been tracking the ship that had left um, Greece, went down, one went, one went to Lebanon, the other went around, made a loop uh, up through the Gulf of Aqaba and into Jordan there and unloaded there. Now a second load of U.S. military equipment is being unloaded aboard from the Liberty Pride Roro ship in Jordan. This is why I believe, and I'm asking the question, at least on live stream, is Turkey, in the case of live stream, preparing for a NATO and positioning themselves for a NATO invasion of Syria? It looks like that's what's happening. Very concerning. Very concerning indeed what's happening. Now, 
as I shared with you when we were on with Dr. Pigeon the other day, it's almost like the Vatican would like to see a, a major conflict between Russia and the United States to begin with. Well, Syria could very well do it. It could, as Dr. Pigeon pointed out, this is where the hooks are in the jaw. This is where Russia has a hook. Turkey has a hook. The United States has a hook because they've all drawn lines. The U.S. President Trump says if the Syrian regime uses chemical weapons, we will attack Damascus. It doesn't matter whether or not it ends up being the jihadist group. They've got to carry out what he says. You have Russia, on the other hand, that says they have their hook in the jaw, as Dr. Pigeon said, because why? They drew the line as well. If the United States strikes Damascus or NATO forces, we will target the vessels that target Damascus. Then we have the biblical prophecy. Let me pull that up for you. I don't even know if I even shared that with you or not yet. I, 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 know, I, I know I have. All right. And that's the bars of Damascus. Uh, I, don't, I don't remember exactly where this is at, so I'll pull it up on eSword real quick. In fact, a brother wrote me the other day, asked me if I had eSword. Sure, I actually do. Uh, so let's just put it in there. Bars, Damascus, or maybe it's bar singular. I guess it is bar singular, the bar of Damascus. And I guess I can also be translated gate. Yeah, there you go. Amos 1.5. So I'll jump over here to where you guys can see it a little bit better on... on uh, Right here using uh, Mechon Mamre. That, by the way, I get asked that a lot too. www.mechon mechon hyphen Mamre, M A M R E dot org. That's where I use the Hebrew version of the Bible right there. Where do we say that was again? That was in Amos 1 5. I'm sure somebody told me on the screen there, but I, of course I couldn't hear you. Um, Amos 1 verse 5. Okay, and I will break the bar of Damascus and cut off the inhabitant of Bekath Avon and him that holdeth the scepter from Beth Eden. Bar of Damascus. I have wondered, is that got something to do with the S300, S400 system or even the S200 system that Syria uses that is there protecting that region? Because remember, some generals had said the only way they could deal with Damascus is they would have to take out the Russian S-400 anti-defense or the defense missile system that is inside of Syria. That to me is the bar of Damascus. That is Amos chapter 1 verse 5 coming into play. And of course, it is going to be a destruction. The United States and Russia, if they go at it, if Russia uses nukes and the U.S. ends up recountering with nukes, you will destroy the two most powerful nations on the earth. Now, they may not go to a full-blown nuclear war. They may do just enough to damage the two countries so badly that they no longer can hold a superpower status or too messed up to be able to deal with any other issues in the world. And then who comes on the scene then? China becomes a new world superpower. Look at them building up their navy, massive navy, building up aircraft carriers one after another. Then who else comes on the scene? Erdogan. Kind of like the Russia of today, Erdogan would be, and China would be the United States superpower, so to speak. And that's when they'll go to take Jerusalem for the Pope of Rome. And of course, the Pope will bring in a new world order. He'll unite with the Sunni Muslims. Uh, don't, don't forget Erdogan's. You have Adnan Akhtar over there. It's part of some kind of sex cult there, claiming like he's the Mahdi. Says he's going to walk arm in arm with the Pope and claims Jesus will come as well to the, to the Temple Mount where the third temple will be built. Boy, I've got a special message I'm about to bring out on those things there, guys. you got to watch the Noon Institute of Biblical Research if you want to know about that. I'll probably share it here on Israeli News Live. It's just that important in my opinion. All right, now let's, let's just get back over here to the news, what's going on. As I said here, uh, they were unloading uh, the ships, uh, the, the military equipment. Southwest Syria could be the next confrontation zone in Syria's multiple regional wars. The U.S.-Russian ceasefire agreement is collapsing, except in the buffer zone in the Iraqi-Jordanian border. The Syrian regime and its allies are making their way through the uh, Nasib border crossing in the Golan Heights. This is where the tense issue is. And this is where the problem for Israel comes in, is that Syria and Russia encroaching on their border once again in the Golan. But you have to remember, this is the Syrian border. All Russia and Syria is, do is doing is trying to push out those jihadists, Al-Qaeda, Al-Nusra, and ISIS militants that are in that region. 
but they're not going to stand still for it. And that's why I say, I believe that what Turkey is doing by going after the Sinyar region right there, if we kind of zoom in, he's positioning himself. He's got to take out the Kurds in that region there. They said they would withdraw because why? Turkey's going to invade from the east and also from the north. The U.S. will take it from the south and from the west because remember, we moved in that one of those Liberty ships over into Lebanon full of U.S. military equipment. And also we have the Germans. The Germans moved a bunch. Of, right here at Dada is one place where, uh, right now, this is where, um, you can see here on the map with the arrow there, just turned blue for you. That's where the Syrian troops are pushing down towards the border there. Right across from Dada there, not far from Al Mafrak, Jordan, is where the U.S. and British forces have their base there, massive base. And that was before they sent in these ships loaded down with military equipment. And on top of that, the Germans from the Encirclet Air Base moved their air force to Jordan. They're getting ready, friends, to take down Syria. All, I mean, this is, if this isn't a Vatican war, I don't know what it is. You know, it reminds me of the apocryphal work of uh, the, what is it, the Apocalypse of Abraham. You know, I, I, don't, I can't put 100% stock in apocryphal work, but one thing's interesting when it's prophetic and you see that, he, that uh, Abraham writes at the, 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 at the end of the days there that the, Rome, the Rome, Rome, Roman soldiers would bankrupt the world economy with their Roman soldiers. <laughs> Pretty weird, isn't it? On top of all this, think Russia's not getting ready for something? Check this one out here. This is from Michael D. there. Michael D. is showing here that they have Russia's chemical and biological military training along with the Toku-U tactical ballistic missiles. This is in Kursk Oblast, which, by the way, friends, that happens to be... That happens to be... Let me pull this up so you can see it's a little bit better here. I can go without the music there, but uh, this happens to be right there on the uh, border of Ukraine. They're practicing uh, in this footage here, uh, not only the military going in, but practicing for being attacked by chemical and biological weapons. What in the world is going on in mean, Russia? I guess they know after what has happened over in uh, Syria, they, they just don't trust anybody anymore decontamination and stuff of their military equipment. I guess it's just some kind of high-powered blower and stuff. I don't know what they're using there, but nonetheless, they're getting ready for something. Something big is going to be going down. It does not look good. I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. Thank you for those joining in on live stream there. If you watch it over, you're going to see the camera fall all over the place. I'm trying to put it up, trying to hurry real quick, and boom, there it goes. Anyway, I'm Stephen Benoon. Israeli News Live. There it is.